Well, good morning, sir. If you would, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Uh, Dan Eddy, Deputy Chief of Operations, San Diego Fire. Sir, we're at the scene of a first alarm vegetation fire down the South Bay. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, um, Cruz, we got initial reports this morning of a, a, a possible vegetation fire down here in San Ysidro. We initially dispatched two engines. Two engines responded to the fire and realized that it was already at an acre and growing. They upgraded us to vegetation first alarm, which gives us more resources to pull from, absolutely. We have a second copter staffed right now, which comes with it, which was a huge response on this one for us to come in and, and get two copters water dropping capabilities at once on this. Crews get a, did a great job of getting on top of it. It progressed to three acres. We've got forward rate of spread stopped right now. We're gonna be working up, mopping up the middle of it to ensure that all of our embers are out. Now you said they did a great job. I witnessed that. These guys were literally running over a quarter mile up and down the hills in the heat. Uh, I was extremely impressed, sir. Well, thank you. That's that's great to have that on my side, absolutely, because I'm proud of my firefighters. I'm always proud of my firefighters every single day because of the work that they put into everything, but they did. The crews got on it quickly. As you can see behind you, the access problems, we had multiple access issues, especially with the trolley, trying to get through on the trolley, um, and so we could only get it from the north. The copter was hugely successful for us on this one because of the access issues to get that forward rate of press. Uh, forward rate of spread stopped and uh, get water ahead of the fire for sure. Now there were homes nearby but it looked like the winds were carrying the fire away from the homes. Absolutely the winds were carrying it to the east for us which was a worry because if it gets in any of these drainage draws it's going to run it right through the bottom out to Otai but because of the fact we had light flashy fuels it was uh, the ability for us to get water quickly on it was able to stop it. And we understand that you have an injured person that possibly responsible for the fire. We have a civilian that was injured in the middle of the fire. We're still investigating it right now. We have mass coming to do the investigation. Uh, I believe he fell in some cactus and we'll be transporting him to the hospital. And it is believed that he may have started the fire to get help? There is a possibility. We do have reports of that, but our mass will be investigating that and finding out. Any injuries to firefighters? Not right now. I'm just proud of our firefighters, proud of our air resources and the work that they put in. They did a hell of a job, sir. Thank you. Anything you'd like to add, though? Now stay safe out there. That's all I ask. Thank you, sir. I can't stand up because you're spines in my right. foot. So we're just the best way possible, okay? Okay. Alright. So you wanna just you wanna just talk to them right here? You gotta get to the ambulance. Why well, I'm not going in the ambulance. I refuse service yeah, and I'm not going in the ambulance. I've said oh, this a thousand you? times. Alright, so what are you doing back here? It's sleep up in that house. I had the cactus in me, I've been screaming for help for like 24 hours. How did that happen? I, I don't know, sir. A, name, a guy named Danny Velasca, Danny Ventura, put it in my path last night because he's a little prick who's insecure because he's a faggot and showed me his penis and now he still wants to go get his vieja. That's why. Okay, you have any idea what, what started the fire? Yes, I did start to get the ambulance out of here because nobody control. would come. So you started this fire to get the ambulance here? Sir, it was not even that big. I started it on a newspaper. I didn't realize it was going to get so big and it, I mean, for God's sake, the police kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I've been screaming for... I will trust El Cajon. I don't trust this place because, quite frankly, it's too cartel -y. For what? For arson. We're, we're investigating, so it's, it's okay. arson. All right. Okay, so... Well, this is my property. This is what I was told. This is not your property. Okay? Well, that's what I was so told. So we're going to get someone to check you out, okay? Fine, you're not taking it out of my phone. You can place me in the um, rest all you, you want. Wanna, you want to put him in the back of the care. patrol car and then name first. Oh. I got call. No, but uh, I need call my car first. Yeah, we need to. We're, we're detaining him. Okay. Not that. We'll stand by to see what's going to happen. Uh, I brought him up with him. It's not that far. I'm thinking if you just wait a little bit.
Pull me forward. Oh, the mirror of God. God again. It's only been God that kept me alive on this one day. Hey, so the handcuffs are, are adjusted for her, her policy, alright? I can feel a finger through uh, evil. Because he gets to me. Well, I know one other time when we're out the street, he likes to put cactus in my bag because he knows that I'm extremely routine and I have the task of memorizing day or night and will never have a light. He knows I always wear sandals. My pen, because it wasn't here yesterday. I don't have to repeat myself to you. Well, I didn't repeat myself Listen, to you. We need to get that cactus out of your and body before we it. go to jail. Okay? I'm so, this is jail. what's going to happen. You're either going to get transported now by an ambulance, uh -huh. or you're going to get transported later. So, you. you and what am, I being, what am I going to jail for? Arson. For what arson? Because I was trying to get your attention, and that was the only so way which I knew way, how. Which way would you like to get transported now or later? Which one? You choose. I don't really care. I'm happy to help you however you like. Well, I was trying to get your attention with the smoke signal. It's not my fault you took so long to get here. It's also not my fault that you Which have too many... Which one would you like, sir? I don't really know, but I'm not going in any ambulance. You can take me to jail. I'm not getting the cactus out, and you're not going to touch me or I'll scream and bite. And which part of, I need my HIV meds, so also, I need an attorney. You are going to the hospital, and then you're going to go to jail. Fine. I don't really care. Way you like, I don't really care. Happen. Your threats don't make any difference to me. Because we'll see about any charges. I'm trying to help you get that stuff out of your face. I don't want your Quick. help. Okay, your aggression, well. your nastiness is not going to help me. I'm not getting the cactus out unless you sedate me. Then you're going to sit in the sun for the next hour. I don't really care. Well, I'm trying, I like to get you out of the sun. I don't really care. I'm not going to die. So go fuck yourself. I can sit in the sun until tomorrow and I'm not going to die. I refuse treatment, period.